Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at another example representing the properties of homomorphism. So we remember this group Z12, right? It consists of 12 elements within it, namely 0 to 11 and it forms a group under addition modulo 12, right? So how, how the operation is performed? If you take any two elements here as A and B, so you first of all add them and whatever whatever is this sum, you divide this by 12 and whatever is the remainder, that is your answer, right? So this is how we solve it. So using this group here, we are defining a map phi from the same group to the same group by phi of x is equal to 3x. Now we are saying this phi is a homomorphism. How? You can see clearly here because if you take phi of x plus y. Now I am why I am taking plus here because here our operation is what? Addition modulo 12 that is y. So by the definition it would be 3x plus y. So you can separate out the terms 3x plus 3y. And what is 3x? It is phi of x. What is 3y? It is phi of y. Hence you see we have a homomorphism here. So we can definitely apply the properties of homomorphism here in this particular case. So for that we should know what is the kernel of this mapping. So uh, what does what do you mean by the kernel of phi? You mean that you are looking for all those elements from the group, the domain right such that when you apply phi onto it you get the identity element which is zero in this particular case right zero is the identity element hence you have this now by the definition what is phi x it is 3x so you are looking for all the elements from z12 such that 3x is equal to zero so you definitely uh, we only have to look from these uh, elements which are present here so you see zero satisfies this condition right which other element satisfies this condition we have 3 into 4 as equal to 12 and when you divide 12 with 12 it goes completely and give you the remainder as 0 hence you have it as 0 mod 12 so 4 would definitely come and 8 would also be there because you have 3 into 0 0 3 into 4 is 12 which is 0 mod 12 and 3 into 8 is 24 which is again 0 mod 24 hence because you have three elements within it hence the order of kernel of this mapping phi is 3 correct okay so by this result which we already know if the order of kernel phi is n then our mapping phi is n to 1 mapping right now because here the kernel has order 3 hence our mapping which is a homomorphism is a 3 to 1 mapping correct once you have 3 to 1 mapping uh, we can uh, verify other properties as well so you see you take some element random as 2 right we will be calculating what is phi of 2 phi of 2 by the definition would be 3 into 2 so it is equal to 6 under mod 12 so what is the ima uh, inverse image of phi inverse uh, 6 I inverse image of 6 it is equal to 2 plus kernel phi this is the coset generated by the number 2 why because by this property if you remember if you have phi of g is equal to g dash then phi inverse g dash is basically the coset generated by this g right so here because our operation is addition so we have plus in between right so you have phi inverse 6 is equal to 2 plus kernel phi right where the elements of kernel phi they are 0 4 and 8 so you add 2 to it so 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 4 is 6 and 2 plus 8 is 10 under mod 12 all of you all of uh, these 2 6 10 they would give you the remainder as 2 6 10 when you divide it by 12 hence these are the elements correct the, so this is another result which is verified here in this case Moreover, what we can do, we can create a subgroup which is generated by 2. There is no issue, we can do that. So, whatever is the subgroup, uh, so is this subgroup would be cyclic in nature because it is being generated by a single element. Correct? So, you see this is a subgroup and what all elements would be present here? For instance, you, ha you would have 0 into 2 because in this case you are taking the powers of 2 so in this case you would have 2 2 plus 2 which is 4 right 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 8 and then uh, 5 times it would be 10 then 12 times it would be 12 so instead of writing 12 you will, will be writing 
zero and then the cycle repeats so these elements would be present here so what is the order of two here the order of two is we have how many elements six elements present within this set hence the order here is how much two sorry six right moreover what is phi of the subgroup generated by two it is you see because uh, as i've told you the subgroup generated by two contains all these elements so it's zero two four six eight ten so five of these elements would be calculating three of zero, three of two, three of four, three of six, three of eight, three to ten. So three into zero is zero, three into two is six, three into four is twelve, three into six is eighteen, three into eight is twenty-four, and three into ten is thirty. Right? When you calculate mod twelve of these quantities, you would get zero, six, zero, six, zero, and six. So basically, we write uh, the distinct elements in our set. So it is just zero and six. Uh, th uh, these two steps have been performed in order for you to understand how we have reached at the zero and six. Right? So now you clearly see this zero and six is also a cyclic subgroup which is generated by six because when you multiply all the elements with 6 0 into 6 is 0 uh, then 1 into 6 is actually it is not 0 into 6 we are doing it uh, addition under addition right so it is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 which is 0 6 plus 6 plus 6 is how much it is 18 which is 6 and 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 24 which is again 0 so you see you can get back this set hence we say it is generated by 6 correct why because uh, and uh, why because uh, we uh, from this we also have verified that if your subgroup is cyclic then its homomorphic image is also cyclic in nature correct and uh, from here you can see what is the order of two the order of two here is six because it has six elements within it and what is the order of phi of uh, the subgroup generated by two it is two because it has only two elements phi of 2 is uh, the order of phi of 2 is the order of 6 Be why because phi of 2 was 6 right from here we can check this out phi of 2 was 6 correct hence uh, the order here of uh, the 6 is 2 as i've told you so therefore you see this 2 divides 6 hence the order of phi of uh, 2 divides the order of uh, 2 right and hence we have also verified this result that if the order of some subgroup is n then the order of phi of h divides the order of h right this is another result that we have verified here okay now moving forward and considering some subgroup uh, as k bar which consists of 0 and 6 right in uh, where in the range it uh, in z12 only so the subgroup phi inverse k bar would be what it would be consist of the members phi inverse 0 and phi inverse 6 phi inverse 0 is basically the kernel so kernel contains 0 4 and 8 because the inverse image of 0 contains three elements here and the inverse image of 6 as i've uh, told you above is 2 6 and uh, 10 why because uh, for the same reason as I have told you above. Hence, combining these two sets, you get your phi inverse k, right? And so this verifies this property that if you have k bar as some subgroup of g bar, where in this case, phi was defined from g to g bar, right? So we have some subgroup here. So corresponding to the subgroup, we can find the inverse image here uh, within g uh, so that this in inverse image of k bar is also a subgroup of g this was the result which we have verified in this particular case so i hope you understood uh, this example well well that is it for this video thank you for watching